Hey Batty and Business family, my name is Isabella. I am the owner of two six-figure earning online businesses and today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up a Shopify store. And no, Shopify did not pay me for this video to sponsor this. I have gotten requests from you guys that have wanted to try out Shopify and thought, why not? They now have a promotion, which I linked in the description, where you can get $1 a month for three months which gives you plenty of time to start up your online store and get it running and get sales before you actually have to pay the monthly fee for Shopify. You can use Shopify for many different business types, whether if you are selling a physical product or you're selling a digital product, if you're drop shipping or if you're doing print on demand, Shopify really does it all in one. If you are someone that you don't know what business model that you wanna choose, or if you are having trouble finding products to sell and you don't know what you wanna start selling, I have videos dedicated just for that on my YouTube channel. People do charge thousands of dollars for the education that I provide you for free. All I ask in return for the free education is just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to make free courses and videos just like this. Me personally, when I first started my online store, I started with one of the free ones that I show on my YouTube channel. But as I started making money and building that business, I realized instead of upgrading with one of the free ones, why not just jump onto another platform that does have more access to more apps and things that can really help me and help my business grow long term. And of course, Shopify does have more customization options as well than the free ones that I have shown in the past too. Do the free website hosts do the job? 100%. But if you are looking for something a little bit more detailed and you wanna commit yourself a little bit more, then this tutorial is for you. But either way, all you will really need to actually get started today with Shopify is only $3. So after you sign up using the link down in the description box below, it is going to bring you to this page. It's gonna ask you just to answer some of these questions. You can either answer them or just click skip all down at the bottom here. Next, Shopify just needs to know what country you are in. So select your country and click next. Then you're gonna just sign up with your email and create an account. After you sign up with your email, it is gonna bring you to this page right here and it's gonna give you a setup guide. So it's actually gonna show you step-by-step -step what you need to do, just in case if you get lost in this tutorial. So let's do the easiest thing first, which is just naming your store. So we're gonna use the name that we picked out. Then just click save. You can see here that the Shopify domain that they give you isn't that great. If you guys don't know what domain is, it's the actual link that people click on to get to your store. So instead of using .com for this custom domain, I recommend actually using .store. .store is the domain name for online sellers. Like usually you guys would think to just use the .com for your websites and your custom domains. But by using the .store, it actually associates your customers with it being an actual online store before before they even click on it. Such as Rihanna, Michelle Obama, Shakira, Cristiano Ronaldo, and even Maroon 5. I just flew with Emirates and I also noticed that Emirates Airlines also has Emirates.store. Even Mr. Beast uses this dot store for his online store. He even announced this on his YouTube channel that he changed his name from dot com to dot store since he felt that it's a better brand and positioning online. There was a study done that compared online stores that use dot store instead of dot com. Online stores that used dot store in their domain experienced 2.1 times more impressions, 1.7 times more clicks, and 12% lower CPA. By using the dot store, it actually gives you up to $2,500 off essential e-commerce tools such as ShipStation, Vistaprint, MailChimp, and many more. So I did put the link down below in the description box where you can get this domain for only 99 cents using this code BATTYSTORE. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get this domain and connect it to your online store. I put the link down in the description box below for you to go directly to dot store domains. And when you're here, you can just click on search for your store domain. Then it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to show you all the different options for what you searched. So remember, we have a code that we're going to be using. So for right now, you'll see that it's $30. When you find the one that you like, just click add to cart. I always like my domains as short as possible. Then go ahead and just click proceed. Then for where the coupon code goes, just type in Batty store. And as you can see, you now have this domain or any domain that you want for only 99 cents with this code. So go ahead and just scroll down and click on place order. 
If you don't have an account, you'll just create one. It's super quick to create one. Once you create the account, then you'll just click pay online. So we now have officially claimed and purchased this custom domain. Now I'm going to show you how to connect a custom domain to your online store. So to add your custom domain, you're going to click settings down here at the bottom left. You're going to click this right here called domains. This is the domain tab. Click connect existing domain. Then you're going to put in the same domain that you just bought on dot store. Then click next. Click on this button, it's going to pull up this list of instructions telling you exactly how to actually connect it. So if you get stuck along the way, you can refer to this page. Next, go back to the dot store domains website. Scroll over manage orders and click list slash search orders. Then just click on your domain. Then once you're here, scroll to the bottom and click on manage DNS. So once you're here, yours will probably say no address records found and that's what you're probably gonna see. So you're gonna use the A records tab and the C name records tab to actually connect this domain. So we're gonna start here at this tab and click on add a record. Then you're going to add the Shopify IP address, which I'm going to put big on the screen right here for you guys in case you need to refer back to this. Then when you're done, just click add record. So for C name, I need you to copy the domain that Shopify gave you. And after you click on C name, it's going to bring you to this page, then click add C name record. Then you're going to just paste that here. Make sure you put www here. So click on add CNAME record and then click on this here, the second button. Then you're going to just type in shops at dot myshopify.com, then click add record. Now go back to Shopify's page and click on verify connection. It can take up to 48 hours to actually stop pending and to successfully connect to the store. So it's going to give you a checklist here. And the first thing that you're going to do is add your first product. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll show you how to add a product to your store. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a title. I typically keep these shorter than most just because I feel like the more simple something is, the more effective it is. So I'm going to just type in here. And if you need a description, what you could do if you are stuck is you can always check out other stores and what they have put for their descriptions. You don't have to copy them exactly, but you can get inspiration this way if you're stuck. So here's a store that's similar to the product we're selling, so we can take inspiration from their description. Just to get this over there, I'm just going to copy this for now and paste it here in the description. Now we can actually go through this and make it our own whatever you want to type here you can and it's just formatted nicely this way because if we try to do this ourselves as a beginner it's much hard to like formulate everything so hopefully this will help you just get started so you can go through these um, one by one and do this as well so you can take things out you can change things but at least the formatting is here like the bold the check marks all of those things that make it look more professional so if you guys scroll down and I, I obviously would change this all around, but I just want to get through this tutorial so you guys can understand. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. So now we're going to upload the photo for your product. So click upload new right now. I am using the photo from my supplier. Now we're going to set up the pricing. So one thing that I do is I usually will Google and just see how much this product is going for on other websites. Obviously, you need to also evaluate how much it costs for you to buy this product as well in order to have higher profit margins. So we're going to just list this at $65. And since what I'm setting up is a physical product dropshipping store, I do have it hooked up to my AutoDS platform. If you Again, if you guys want to learn about how to start dropshipping specifically and connect your supplier to the product, then I do have a tutorial step-by-step -step on my YouTube channel for you guys. So just keep scrolling down. But if you're a small business, you won't even have to really worry about that. You can guesstimate the weight here. And I would say this product is about one pound with the box. This is what your search engine is going to look like. So when people are looking for high pressure shower heads, this is what's going to pop up. You can edit it here if you want to.
So when you're done, just click on save. This is actually a product that I imported earlier from my drop shipping supplier. But we're, since we're focusing on starting a store from scratch for small businesses or anyone that wants to start a Shopify store, yours will look more like this. If you have a product that you can make, you know, if you're hand making your products and you have a bunch, then you can actually just unclick track quantity. So then anybody can order this product. You don't have to worry about actually keeping track of how many you have. So if that's the case, just click on save. And now it's not tracking your inventory. Like here, I put 10 in stock for this. Here, the inventory is not tracked. So anybody can order. You don't have to worry about selling out. So you can keep track of both with this. Next thing on the list is to customize this theme. So click the customize theme button. So make sure you click on themes and then it's gonna bring you to this page. This is the fun part and how we're gonna customize your actual online shop. So scroll down and since we're gonna be in this self-care niche, I like this theme right here. It's a free theme called Sense. So let's go ahead and add that. And you can see down here, they have over 80 free themes that you can use for your online store as well few minutes it gets added to your theme library then you can click customize so it's then gonna bring you to this customization page and I know it might be a little overwhelming at first but I promise after going through all of these tabs and just looking at everything individually it's a lot less overwhelming and actually fun to customize so click on the logo tab and then click select image. We're gonna upload the logo that we took a screenshot of. Click add images and just upload that screenshot of our new logo. Now you have your logo right at the top here. You can adjust the width of the logo and just different things right here. Just to make it look more, a little bit bigger so they can actually read the name of your store. I always say to keep your websites looking very simple because if it's too many details, sometimes it can just be distracting to your customers and kind of just is just too much and they might just like click away or get frustrated. So I always like to keep my websites very simple when I make them. So if you want to add any of the Shopify apps here, there's so many different things. The possibilities are endless. This is where you'll actually go to add them in. If you want to change the color schemes, you can do that here. So I personally like to just have the products underneath the like the the top of the page. Like I don't like to have too many pictures or too many things going on. So I really do like to just keep it simple. And you can see here that the product is already uploaded um, that because we imported it, which is the easiest way if you've watched my other free courses that um, are a little different. It took a little bit more effort to actually get the product on and I really like how when you scroll over it it shows you like different images so it definitely has a really nice finish um, so you guys can play around with this you know try different things on the actual website customization page you guys see here this is where you can do all of the different customization options you can do pop-ups if you want people to sign up um, with their email right here um, you can do different buttons animations layouts colors low you know that we already did the logo part but there's just so many things that you can add to your website to make it look more enticing so spend time on this play around with it and until you find exactly what you like. But this is the more basic um, thing to actually just get the website going. And what's really cool too is you can actually see what it's gonna look like on mobile. So if you click the little phone right here, you're gonna see exactly how your website is gonna look on somebody's phone too. Because usually when people are shopping, they're doing it from their phones. So definitely make sure that you check out what it looks on mobile because that's super important. Go ahead and click save. I also want to mention that you can have multiple products in your store as long as you stay in the same niche. I do not recommend you have a store with like a million different things. Stick with one niche and one theme, but you can have multiple products in that one niche or theme. Especially with auto dropship, you can find a bunch of products in that one niche and then upload them to your Shopify store. So before you remove the password to make your shop go live and to actually be able to share this shop now with other people and to get actual sales you are going to have a, to pick a plan with shopify even though these are all one dollar you know you just have to choose the basic plan for now since you're a beginner 
unless you're really wanting to take it very seriously and have the advanced Shopify store. But you can just start with the most basic plan. Either way, they're all a dollar a month for your first three months since you used the link down in the description. And I don't want you to forget about this part. Make sure you click on finances here and you put in all of your payment information here. It's gonna walk you through all of this section. It's not too it's not too overwhelming. You guys can do it. If you get stuck, you can chat even with the Shopify representative and they can help you as well. But this is how you're actually gonna get the payments to your bank account. So like when a customer shops with you, it's gonna go through Shopify payments and then go into your bank account. So you do have to set these up in order to make money and actually get the money from your customers from the Shopify account to your bank account. And if you wanna start giving out discount codes to your customers, that's right here under this discount tab. So if you want to give out um, like buy one, get one free, you would do the buy X, get Y. So they get buy one, get one free or whatever you wanna do. You're able to customize this to your liking. And this will definitely help you to bring in sales as you are giving out these coupon codes to your customers. So under orders, they have this tab here that has an entire section for abandoned checkouts. Now I have used multiple different website hosts. I've used the free ones, Equid and Big Cartel. I've used um, even Wix and they did not have this. So I think this is super cool. And basically what this is, is when customers have things in their cart, but they don't check out, you will be able to see that. So you can then retarget them. So if they gave you your email address, you can send them an email and send them a discount code. Like right here, they have the discount codes. There's multiple different things that you can do, but this tab gives you access to reaching back out to those customers to drive in more sales. So this is your finished website. Obviously this is super basic and nothing special at all because we didn't add anything super special. I just wanted to show you guys the basics of starting your own online store. And when you start filling this up with more products, it'll definitely look more official as well. I would start with maybe two or three and go up from there. Just so you can focus on selling those products. And some people just have a one product store. So it really just depends on what you want to do. Congratulations, you set up your online store. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how do I actually get sales with this store? Me personally, I don't recommend just spending a bunch of money on ads. You can grow your business organically through the power of social media. And you don't even have to show your face. Step by step, how to start marketing your online store organically. And I include all of my secrets and tips of how I film, edit, and post my content in these two videos, if you wanna get some reference of how to actually create the content to get sales. If you're someone that you just have photos of your products, Pinterest is a very photo-friendly app and it's also a search engine. So definitely check out Pinterest in order to market your online store. And I go over all of this again in my free marketing course on my YouTube channel. And again, don't sleep on my free education and courses on my YouTube channel if you get stuck on anything else or if you're still trying to figure out what business model is right for you, I have tons of videos that can help you out. If you have any questions about this video today, feel free to comment down below and I will try to respond to all of my comments. Make sure if you haven't already, like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to make free courses for you guys just like this. Make sure you're following me on Instagram too at baddieandbiz for more business inspiration and updates. Also, please be careful. There are fake accounts of me on all social medias and in the comment section of YouTube as well. So just be careful. Remember that I am dedicated to 100% free education. I don't sell anything. I'll never message you first. I'll never try to sell you anything. So please don't get scammed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next free course. Bye everyone.